Okay, so the whole objective, we're here to test 2019 Proto, both, both the V1 version and the V1X version. We're gonna start with a lob wedge, I'm gonna progress from 60 yards to 80 yards. I'm gonna go to a full sand wedge, my 56. I'm gonna then move into mid irons and then ultimately land at driver. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the performance difference from my previous game ball. I'm looking to see that spin sustained, that speeds is sustained, that the ball's flying appropriately and that it feels really good. Let's make it happen. Okay, brass tacks, we've got the 60 degree wedges up. I've got it all normalized. And the performance difference that is apparent immediately here is that there's a gain in spin in the 2019 Proto over the 17X or even the V1. I'm an X player and I was spinning both of those at around 8,600 RPM. Uh, very little difference in distance because I feel like I'm pretty, pretty dialed in with my wedges. But we went up to 87 uh, on the X and 85. So very similar on the V1 Proto, but the V1X spun a little bit more at the 60 yard shot. When we're looking at the 80 yard shot, this, the same difference played out and it is negligible. And, and the reason for that is it's really hard to improve on excellence when you feel like you have something perfected. The expectation that it would be 1X, 2X, 3X better, it's, it's hard. So we're talking about marginal gains here, but those marginal gains most definitely could show up on the golf course with a little bit of spin through my 60 and 80 yard, what we'll call finesse wedges. Let's hit the 56 and see what happens. Testing full 56 now. Let's give it a whirl, it's about 105, 108 sometimes. That one felt really solid, like it might go a little bit further than the 108 that it would typically. Oh yeah. So now we're at the 56, I've hit 12 shots and there really shows up to be a fairly massive performance difference. And the performance difference is moderately in spin, but here's where I start to see the thinner cover on the 2019 Proto show up in terms of providing more distance. And we're still only at a 56 degree wedge. Whereas my 17 X would go 103 to 106 yards. My 2019 Proto will go 106 to even 111 yards. So I've got a little bit more distance out of the 2019 uh, Proto, and I'm certainly achieving uh, spin differences. The 17 V1 was at 9,500, the uh, 19 was at 10.5. So certainly some significant differences, and I'm super excited to now try 6 iron and ultimately driver. Just loves how it gets to its peak, and it seems like it holds right there. It's definitely traveling a little bit further. Okay. Almost to the point of getting worn out. I'm probably 60 shots into this testing. Uh, finishes this, finished with a six iron. So mid iron, what am I looking for in performance? I'm actually looking for it to hopefully fly pretty much the same. If I eke a yard or two out of it in terms of increased distance, I'll be uh, excited as long as I don't give up spin. And it was about a push. Uh, looked like the 19 Protos were flying about the same. Uh, there was a little bit tighter spin difference, so the delta of how much spin I would uh, achieve on a maybe a miss hit or a face left open shot, uh, it was a little tighter as I went to the 2019 Proto, which is any gain in performance, again, at this level, as I mentioned before, is, uh, is really important. So uh, I'm super happy with the golf ball. Now it's time to try the driver. Push draw. Nice. 161 and a half ball speed. 35 in the air. That's long for me. All right, done with the driver. 29 drives, and I'm fully worn out now. But I, w I managed to sustain swing speed throughout that session, which is super important because I don't want to uh, have the illusion of improved performance when it was just my swing speed that I was, was either dropping or increasing through the session. So I maintained at about 107 and a half, 108 miles an hour of swing speed, and that gave me ball speed differences, the 2019 Proto, that were a mile and a half to two miles an hour faster off the club face in ball speed with spin levels most definitely sustained. So the ball promises for me to travel five to six yards further in the air just as I move from my 17X hopefully into a 2019 Proto. So I've got 277 moving to 281 or uh, the, if, I if I was a 17 V1 player, I had 275 
uh, moving to uh, 279. So we certainly have some small gains with driver. We've got about a push with the mid irons and we have some pretty substantial gains with the wedge play, which for me around the greens are coming in with uh, trying to get up and down, maybe on a par five I had to punch out on or getting up and down for birdie on a par five is a significant uh, point of, I guess, difference. And therefore I'm excited about it. So these gains I'm expecting to show up on the golf course for me and I'm sure they will for you as well.